And welcome back to Let's Play Gabriel Knight, The Sins of the Fathers. My name is Wadball and I'm your demonstrator for today. Notice, not Let's Player, because I'm giving you a look at optional video number two. When last we left off, I was showing you guys a little scene where Gabriel was trying to get past to get a desk sergeant named Frick. Seemed more like the guard dog, Cerberus of Hell. Anyway, it took a few tries, and I got pretty pissed off at the end of it. See my previous videos for a sign of what happened. In any case, what I thought happened was that I'd set the speed for my DOS box way too high. Like, I set it at CPU cycles max, which is more of like a Pentium 83, Pentium 1 83. And now I've set it down to about 10,000, which is more about the speed of a very f slow 486 or very fast 386. More along the lines of what was around when this game was actually played more thoroughly. So, uh, I'm gonna walk out of here, and before we arrive at the police station, I just want to give you a refresher, a uh, dramatic reinterpretation of what happened when I actually tried it the last time. Roll tape. Okay, I'm coming in, okay. Oh look, it's the banyan guy, okay. Maybe the guy will... Alright, the woman's going out. She says she's out of cash, right? She's gonna say that. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Alright, he goes. He's gonna give her the cash, right? Give her, give her, give her, give her. Give her the cash, give her the cash. Okay, let me get through the door. Oh, come on! That's like nothing. That's like... Oh, that's not fair. Okay, okay. Alright, gotta wait for them to come back, and then okay, gotta wait for him to fall asleep. Okay, fall asleep. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Alright, good. Now we use the key to get into the... What the... Hey, come on! That's not fair! Uh Alright, let's try it again. What? Wait for him to... Wait for him to fall asleep again. Fall asleep, fall asleep. Alright, he's nodding off, he's nodding off. He's nodding off. Okay. Alright. Okay. One more time. Raise the speed up a little bit so we can make it. Okay. And... Use the key and... Oh my god, we didn't even get that far! Oh, you fat fuck! Uh, come on! Let me in! Let me in! I'm trying to advance the game here! Uh, uh I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. All right, I gotta reset, reset the game. Go, right, go back, go in. Okay, now I'm gonna go and wait for him to fall asleep again. Fall asleep, fall asleep, fall asleep. All right, hell yeah, we got it. So I wanted to go over a little bit of the background of this problem with timer speed. So some of the older Sierra games and indeed some of the newer ones actually suffered from this problem where the programmers decided to set the timer of the game to the CPU processor clock. In some cases, it worked out really well. For instance, in Leisure Suit Larry 3, Larry had to do a set number of exercises in order to lose weight in the Fat City scene. Now, in a 486, he may have to do 20 pull-ups. In a 286, it might take 10. The reason being that the animation was a lot faster on the 46, therefore you can actually go through the key presses in about the same number of time as you could with the 286 doing 10. Now this problem was a real bitch when it came to playing games on much faster computers. I, for instance, played Gabriel Knight 1 and Lee Street Larry 3 on a Pentium 2 500 megahertz processor. Now what that meant was, yeah, the Death Sergeant came back pretty quickly, and in Leisure Larry 3, it took no more than, I think it was 250 exercises to finish off the whole Fat City scene. Just that one, just for that one exercise. It was really, 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 really annoying. Luckily, there exist some facilities and utilities that fix this problem in Sierra games when they're played in DOSBox. One solution is to turn down the CPU cycles to what it's more or less like when it was played on a computer that was around during that er era. So we're going to go into the police station and I'm going to show you exactly what it was supposed to be like with about 50% less frustration. Here we go. Notice the squeak of the wheels. We didn't hear that Where? the last time when it was too fast. Everything 
looks the same, right? Well, hold on, just a second. Grab me three or four, would ya? Forget it, I'm broke. Rats. You stay put. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. See, he's gone. He's not coming back. So what you do is operate the swinging door, and in one shot, select the key, and go into Mosley's office. Simple as that. Oh my god, no frustration! And I wasted all that effort and energy in the last video. Well, and anyway, that's basically what happens when you set the CPU cycles too high. Animations go wonky, and things that normally would be much, much easier is now 10 billion times harder. So that'd be a lesson to you. If you're going to play on DOSBox, you might want to consider setting those CPU cycles just a little bit lower so that you can actually play it the way that it was meant to be played. I'm Wadball, and I'm signing off saying good night and good luck.